So let's take a look at replication and data redundancy. And so when you create a storage account, you're gonna to have to choose a replication type. And the reason why is that uh, you're gonna to wanna to have multiple copies of your data so you're protected from a bunch of things. So maybe uh, your data center has a planned outage, so you have to make sure you have a, a, a backup of your data if you need to access it. Maybe there is a hardware failure or network or power outage or natural disaster. And so that is the whole point of replication. And the greater level of redundancy, the more expensive the cost of replication will be. And talking about cost, we can break it down into three categories. And each uh, of these categories have uh, uh, two types of uh, replication. So let's just quickly go through the list and then we'll deep dive into all of them uh, in the upcoming slide. So for the first part, we have primary region redundancy. So we have local redundant storage, LRS, and zone redundant storage, ZRS. And locally redundant storage is the most cost-effective tier. So that's the one I'm usually going for a lot, especially when I'm running uh, using development accounts. That's what I'm always setting. And so the reason, or and so the use for this uh, this tier is generally disaster recovery and failovers. The secondary region redundancy, we have geo redundant storage, GRS and GeoZone Redundant Storage, GZRS. And the reason you'd want to use this tier is for also disaster recovery and failovers, but it has a higher level redundancy. Uh, then the last one here is secondary region redundancy with read access. Uh, and uh, for this case, uh, we, what we're going to have is read access geo redundant storage, so that's RAGRS, and read access geo redundant storage uh, RAGZRS, uh, and that's going to generally be for read replicas. And if you can't remember all the initialisms, don't worry, I don't either. Um, but uh, you know, there you go.